Asectogoers. Can a narcissist fall in love? The short answer is yes. However, it's probably not the type of love you're thinking of right now. Love is different for everybody. This applies especially well in the case of narcissists, since they have psychological deficits that impact emotional assessment. They tend to show their love in a weird, selfish way. So if you're an average person who sees love as something along the lines of understanding, acceptance, and compromise, then you're in for a surprising ride because this is what truly happens when a narcissist falls in love. Before we begin, this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice or diagnosis. With that said, here is what happens when a narcissist falls in love with you. Number one, they won't change. You may think that when a narcissist truly falls in love, they change for the better. Unfortunately, in most situations, that is not the case. Research shows that they have structural abnormalities in brain regions associated with emotional empathy. And because of that, they tend to turn abusive or remain self-absorbed. Number two, they're turbulent in their ways of affection. Narcissists can be extremely warm one second and cold the next. It's also common for them to love bomb their partners. Since they're playing a game of wanting to receive praise and admiration, they know exactly which buttons to push to elicit a good reaction. However, since the act of receiving pleasure is somewhat like a game to them, they naturally lose interest once they win it or receive the prize. So it won't be a surprise when one moment they're buying gifts and booking honeymoon tickets for their partners and breaking up with them the next. Number three, they prefer casual dating or long distance. Commitment is a difficult thing to expect from narcissists. Since they're sponges of attention, a single person's appreciation will tire them out quickly. For them, the more people to receive praise from, the better. This is why they're especially comfortable with casual dating or being in long distance relationships. In these types of setups, there are low expectations for intimacy, but enough opportunities to satisfy their desire. Do any of these ring a bell so far? Comment below. Speaking of bells, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. While you're at it, hit the like button too. Your support means so much to us. Number four, they're passionate at first. Narcissists are supposed to be vain, selfish people, right? Well, while it's true that a sense of entitlement characterizes them, narcissists have also been proven to possess emotional intelligence. This means that they're highly capable of showing their interest especially to gain what they want, adoration. For this reason, they may act all lovey-dovey during the early stages of a relationship. They may be touchy, generous, dreamy, and all the good things, but don't be fooled. A narcissist's love also means putting themselves first, always. Number five, they won't know how to resolve conflicts. Disagreements and arguments are common in relationships. If handled well, they may even promote growth and closeness between partners. But since narcissists always want to seem perfect, they tend to avoid things that may make them seem like a bad person. This means that when there's conflict, they're highly expected to shift the blame, point fingers, and use manipulation tactics to get the upper hand. And number six, they may commit narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic abuse is defined as a type of emotional abuse where the abuser only cares about themselves and may use words and actions to manipulate their partner's behavior and emotional state. Since narcissists tend to see themselves as superior beings, they often forget about the needs of their partners. They do everything for themselves first, and this behavior can be especially damaging to the person they're in a relationship with. Victims of narcissistic abuse may experience anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress, loss of self-worth, and more. So did anyone come to mind when you heard these signs? Narcissists can often make life difficult for who they love and vice versa. There isn't a cure for narcissistic personality disorder, but therapy can help. If this video is relevant to you or someone you know, please don't hesitate to reach out for guidance or help. Do you think we missed anything? Leave it in the comments below. 
If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching, until next time.